Alright guys, in today's video we have some pretty significant PlayStation 5 information to go over and talk about here today. We have two different topics we're going to be bringing up. The first has to do with VRS or variable rate shading and how it has been officially confirmed by developers or at least a developer from Activision that VRS is something that the PlayStation 5 will offer and will feature. I think this is a pretty significant thing to take some time to highlight and go over because there's been a lot of conversation about whether or not the PS5 will in fact feature VRS and I'm sure many of you are aware that this is something that Microsoft has been talking up a lot when it comes to the next generation Xbox and there have been a lot of people going around saying that it will in fact, the PS5 that is, not feature VRS, and the Xbox will, but apparently that couldn't be further from the truth. So we're gonna go over that and highlight that. And on top of that, we're gonna be going over something a Remedy developer recently had to say about the PlayStation 5, and how they are saying it's going to make the overall experience of using a console significantly better. So some really high praise there from Remedy Entertainment. So before we go any further, if you could do me a favor, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy the content or if you're excited for the PlayStation 5. And hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future content. But starting here with variable rate shading, in a recent discussion on NeoGAF, a lead artist from Activision confirmed that the PS5 does in fact feature VRS, which as we said, stands for variable rate shading, and it will be implemented into next-gen games. The Activision developer pointed out how VRS will help developers create systems that can procedurally generate higher quality assets on the PlayStation 5. He also noted how the new GE block, which stands for Geometry Engine, needs VRS by design. And this is something that Mark Cerny did reference during his deep dive presentation. He did reference the Geometry Engine, and he said GE, part of RDNA 2, offers developers unparalleled control over triangles and other primitives and easy optimization for geometry culling. So yeah, on top of all that, we also have Matt Hargett, a former principal software engineer who also worked on the PlayStation 5. He explained a couple weeks back how VRS and the geometry engine work together, and this is what he had to say. Variable rate shading is nice for saving cycles, but VRS optimization capability doesn't hold a candle to the geometry engine's capabilities. VRS without GE means you're still processing vertices. You can slash should eliminate in earlier stages to begin with. More free compute slash memory. So that's him just basically giving um, a basic idea of how these two things work together. And uh, essentially we have uh, a developer, that developer being somebody who works at Activision, stating that, yes, the PlayStation 5 does have VRS because the PlayStation 5 is using RDNA 2 technology, and RDNA 2 technology literally has VRS designed into it. Like, it's part of the overall design. So, yeah, uh, this is really what mark cerny was talking about when he was bringing up the geometry engine so you know this is an important thing to highlight because as i've said microsoft has talked a lot about vrs so far and what microsoft says is that they're going to be using vrs to achieve stable frame rates at higher resolutions without compromising image quality which sounds awesome and again it's something they've really been kind of highlighting and I have to imagine that the PlayStation 5 is going to be implementing VRS in pretty much the same way when it comes to games offering those higher, more stable frame rates at higher resolutions without compromising image quality. And that sounds great to me. But again, this was a really important thing to take time to highlight here because we have an actual developer here coming out here officially confirming that, yes, guys, VRS is a feature that the PS5 offers. Sony just, again, I don't think that it's necessarily they've done a, a bad job in talking about what they've talked about so far about the ps5 i just think the only thing they really haven't done so well is communicate it in an easily digestible way for a lot of people where this is why you have developers having to come out here and basically say even though mark cerny kind of made it clear or relatively clear during the presentation for those who understood what he was saying Yes, VRS is something that the PS5 does offer. So there you go. A lot of people should be happy 
to hear that news. But moving on from that, we are going to be talking a little bit about what a developer from Remedy Entertainment had to say about the PlayStation 5. It says here, amidst all the mixed reception the PS5 has had since Sony did its tech reveal, the one thing about the console that has drawn nothing but overwhelmingly uh, high praise is its SSD. Developers are more than a little excited to work with it and create entirely new experiences with it, and Remedy Entertainment, who've had plenty to say about the console's solid-state drive before as well, seem just as excited. Speaking in an interview with the official PlayStation Magazine issue 169, December 2019, various members of the studio spoke highly about the PS5's SSD technical director, Mika Valkala, hopefully I'm pronouncing their name correctly, said that it would lead to much more detail in the game worlds than before, while communications director Thomas Pua talked about how for a game like Control, it would mean even deeper destruction systems, richer, more detailed worlds, and simple quality of life improvements like instant reloading after dying. However, according to Pua, the benefits go beyond that. He said that it's not just about better graphics, but improving the overall experience of using and playing a console as a whole. According to Pua, the PS5 is going to make it very easy for developers to work with very powerful hardware. We tend to forget that it's not just about getting better graphics in games with a new console, but it's that the overall experience of using and playing on the console will get significantly better, he said. PlayStation 5 is about making a really smooth, quick-to-load experience and a hardware base that's easy to use for us developers, which is great because it allows us to harness the hardware power quicker. So yeah, some very significant things that these developers are saying about the PlayStation 5, and it's not uncommon to find developers speaking highly of the PS5 and kind of letting us know that, yeah, it's not just about uh, graphics at the end of the day. There's a lot more that developers will be able to do with the power of the PlayStation 5. We've talked at length about so how Sony has went above and beyond to attempt to remove any and all bottlenecks that developers could potentially run into when trying to really realize the vision of their game on PlayStation 5. And we have a developer here who's kind of confirming this, saying that not only is Sony giving us a really powerful hardware, but they're making it easier than ever for the developers to fully harness that power more quickly and this is something that is really important because one of the things that I think people are going to be looking for almost immediately with these consoles is how much different are games going to look or perform or how different are they going to be in general with their des design philosophies than what we see now with current generation games and there's no doubt that there's going to be a transitional period you know there's going to be a lot of developers who are still um, making games with the PS4 and the Xbox One in mind. And because of that, you're not going to see anything too dramatic except maybe like some, you know, much higher frame rates, much higher pixel counts, and better uh, graphics in general. But it's going to be really interesting to see what developers are going to be able to do with all of this excess power, you know, all of this excess overhead, and how they're going to be able to fully try to, as they say, harness the power here in a, in a, in a quick way for let's just say I guess exclusive games right like these are the games that are really going to take full advantage but uh, you know if if I'm seeing what third party developers like Remedy are saying about the PS5 and how they're really excited and they're going to be able to do a lot more with it than just better graphics really gets my mind racing and wondering about what exactly Sony's first party developers knowing how talented they are and knowing that when they make games they're going to be exclusive to just the PS5 really makes me wonder what they're going to be able to achieve on the PS5, and it sounds very exciting. I have a very good feeling that we are going to see games do things, exclusive games on the PS5 do things, that you literally won't see being done anywhere else on any other platform, even PC, and that is an extremely uh, enticing uh, prospect there. Now, obviously, we're going to have to wait to see, but... I just wanted to take some time to highlight these things, guys. I wanted to let you know that VRS, variable rate shading, is in fact confirmed 
to be part of the PlayStation 5's architecture. It is a feature it will offer, and it's going to do some great things for games. And on top of that, we have a high-profile studio, that being Remedy Entertainment. We have some developers there saying some really, really interesting, really positive things about the PlayStation 5 in general, just kind of trying to let you know that, look, it's not just about better graphics. The PS5 is about much more than that. And they're even listing some of the things that they would be able to do with their latest game control with you know, the power of the PS5. And that is a current generation game. So just makes you wonder what exactly they're going to be able to do with next gen only games. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts about all this down in the comments below. Again, leave it a like if you enjoyed it or found it informative. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.